All right, whoo, good lord, why do I not at least try to rehearse these names before I start the video? Brunig, Brunig, B-R-E-U-N-I-G. I don't even know who to blame. This feels like it's the Germans' fault, based off the name. But I kind of want to say it's Dutch. The name feels Dutch, you know? Or like Lower Saxony, which is just, you know, Flemish, something like that. It's in that area. It's the Northern Germans. The Southern Germans were not responsible for this, I don't think. Anyway, uh, a crazy woman, that is the legal term, uh, hits another person's car. Uh, what they do is, what the woman does is, she goes into the other lane. You know, not the na lane next to her, the lane across the barrier, because, and this is true, she thought she was Batman, and that she could fly, well, that her car could fly. Now, not to be, um, you know, not to be a buzzkill, but she wasn't Batman. But also, Batman's car can't fly. So, I don't know. Anyway, um, so the question here is foreknowledge. If she had forewarning, she is negligence. And that is a question for the jury, right? And yes, she had forewarning of her craziness. Her family had forewarning of her craziness. Someone could have stepped in to stop this. So whoever's responsible for her is responsible to pay for this. Um, is kind of how the court comes down. Ultimately, it's going to get charged against her, and since nobody's responsible, knick knack. You don't worry about it. Anyway, um, yeah. So crazy people, basically, insanity is treated like a physical impairment, right? If you knew you had it, you're in deep doo doo. 